this video we're going to check the reports of the purchase order which we created in the last video we create one purchase order for the supplier for the vendor red ferry so how we can check the reports of the purchase order you can click on this task in the task we have this purchase orders if you click on this list you can see the list of all the purchase orders which you created so right now we just created only one purchase order for the vendor ID 100 the purchase order number is 6363 period means the month that is August and that is the date when we created the purchase order and that is the total amount of the purchase order that is 57,800 and this purchase order is still open the status is still open this is the one way you can check the reports or when you open this purchase order window we have this option that the reports from here you can also check the the reports of the purchase order but you can check the reports from this reports and form in the reports and form we have this accounts payable in accounts payable we have different options like different reports to check the purchase order reports so first we have this purchase order journal it shows the purchase order report showing with the debits and credits double click you can sort the report this is for the period August 1st till 31st August 2019 you can sort this report if you want to check with the different period wise you can click on this option and you can change the period here you can sort with the date wise ID wise or invoice number wise and you can sort the report with that that purchase order wise vendor number wise that is accounts payable ID wise or the vendor type wise so right now we just created for the red ferry only so we selected we're going to select here the red ferry and press ok so this is our purchase order report by journal with the debit and the credits that we ordered this keyboard mouse cpu monitor hard disk mobile from the supplier red ferry so these are the debited amount and the credited amount is 57,800 so this is what purchase order journal report you can check also the purchase order register it will show you the list of all the purchase order you created or you issued for how many supplier to different supplier so you can see this report purchase order register so right now we just created only one purchase order and that is a red ferry so right now it is giving us the report that this is a purchase order number that is a date and that is a goods through that when they need to deliver us before cancellation of the purchase order and that is a vendor id and that is a total amount through this column you can also add the vendor name also and you can move it up before the vendor id and press ok and you can save this layout so the next time this additional field the vendor name is also appear cancel it then we have purchase order reports if you double click it will show us the purchase order report with the item wise and the with their statuses that we order the 20 pieces of keyboard 20 pieces of mouse 20 pieces of cpu do we receive any quantity yet no zero and that is the the balance quantity remaining so right now we didn't receive any quantity so it's still showing us the quantity remaining that is 20 20 pieces for all the items we order in our purchase order number 6363 so these are the various different reports to check the purchase order in sage 50